Hello, my name is Simon and I'm an application engineer at Materialize. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a customized cardiovascular bench top model. 3D printing allows you to create patient-specific replicas of actual anatomy. You can design and print a bench top model based on one patient's data or on a population average. These models are helpful for evaluating stand placement, conducting flow studies and much more. This video is going to show you how to create a customized bench top model based on a cardiovascular image file. The first step is to import the STL file into Trematic. We're going to choose the aortic aneurysm from the demo files. Use the local smoothing tool under the finish menu to optimally prepare the model for printing. Smooth all the rough areas on the surface of the model. You can simply click and drag to apply the smoothing and you can change the size of your brush by holding down the control key and scrolling with your cursor. Next, we'll want to hollow out the model. You can find the hollow tool under the design menu. By doing this, we end up creating a vessel wall of two millimeters. To cut off the ends of the inlets and outlets, Use the Trim tool under the Finish menu. Now we can start designing the base of the model. We do this by selecting New from the Sketch menu and then choosing the Through One Point Parallel to the Plane method. We choose a point on the posterior side of the aneurysm and select the ZX plane as the parallel plane. Translate the sketch normal to the Y axis and move the sketch plane 30mm so that it doesn't intersect the anatomy at any point. Before you start drawing the base profile, import the outline of the aorta into the sketch to use as a guide. Now use the create line sequence to draw a profile of the base. Make sure the entire profile of the aorta is included within the base. To give the sketch a base thickness, extrude the sketch 3mm in both directions. This will give us a 6mm thick base. Hide the sketch and now we are ready to design a support to attach the base to the aorta. Be sure to select the expert mode with the option extend length so that the cylinders will fully intersect with the aneurysm model. After creating the cylinders, perform a local boolean operation to join the extruded supports to the top surface of the base. With a second local boolean operation, we join the resulting supports and the outer surface of the AAA model. It's very important to select the outer surface.
Now we can add a flange to the benchtop model. To do this, import the STL file of the flange using the default settings. To place the flange in the right position, use the arc to arc align option in the align menu. We'll select the inner contour of the superior end of the AAA model as the fixed entity and the inner contour of the flange as the moving entity. Choose the coincident face-to-face -face method. Now that the flange is correctly aligned with the model, we need a nice transition between the two. To close the gap between the two parts, use the interactive translate tool in the align menu. This will translate the flange in the z-direction by approximately 30 mm. Using the loft tool in the design menu, the flange can be attached smoothly to the aneurysm model. Choose loft with thickness using surface as the method and select the side surfaces of the two parts. Use the default settings and select option Merge. If you want to brand your model by adding a logo, use the Quick Label tool in the Finish menu. Select the drawing method and import a DXF file of the logo. Finally, to smooth the outer contour of the base, use the Fillet tool under the Finish menu with a radius of 1. Now the model is ready for 3D printing.